Dressmaking and Tailoring Exploratory Course for Grade 7 and 8. Dressmaking and Tailoring, Exploratory Course for Grade 7 and 8, Lesson 5.2. Our topic is Different Parts of Sewing Machine and Their Functions. Different Parts of Sewing Machine and Their Functions. The basic structure of sewing machine is the same whether it is hand-operated sewing machine, treadle sewing machine, or electric sewing machine. Let us continue the discussion with the different parts of lock stitch sewing machine and their functions. The two major parts of lock stitch sewing machine are upper parts and lower parts. The upper parts are composed of the following. First is the head. It is the complete sewing machine without the cabinet or stand. Next is the arm. Arm is the curved part of the head containing mechanism for operating the needle. Next is the bed. It is the flat portion of the machine and beneath is the feet dog where it is mounted and the shuttle and the lower thread are placed. Parts of the sewing machine in the arm and head. First is the spool pin. It is the thread holder. Next is the thread guide. It keeps the thread in position. Number three, the thread take-up lever. It releases the thread and interlocks with the bobbin thread. Number four, the presser bar lifter. It moves the presser foot. And number five, tension screw. It controls the looseness and tightness of the stitches. Number six is the needle bar. It holds the needle in place. Next is the needle clamp. It holds the, and tightens the needle. Presser foot. It holds the fabric in place while sewing. Presser bar. It is a bar to which the presser foot of a sewing machine is attached. And number ten, needle is a slender tool attached in the needle clamp used for sewing. Next is the bobbin winder. It controls the bobbin while winding thread. It has three parts, the latch, the spindle, and the rubber ring. The latch passes the bobbin in the spindle while winding the threads. The spindle is a slender rod by which the thread is twisted in a spinning wheel. The rubber ring is a ring on the bobbin winder which comes in contact with the nut of the balance wheel. Number 12 is the stitch regulator. It checks the length of the stitches. Number 13 is the balance wheel. It sets the mechanism in motion. Number 14 is the belt. It connects the balance wheel to the wheel drive. Number 15 is the stop motion screw. It hinders moving when loosen and starts. Number 16, face plate. A cover that encloses the oiling point of the needle bar, presser bar, and the take-up lever. The following are the parts of sewing machine in the arm and leg. Parts of sewing machine in the bed or under the bed. First is the feed dog. It moves the fabric while sewing. Next is the throat plate. It is the windows of the feed dog and it is where the bobbin threads come out. Next is the slide plate. It is a movable plate that covers the shuttle and the bobbin case. Shuttle. It holds the bobbin case while sewing. Bobbin. It is a metal spool for winding thread. And bobbin case, it holds the bobbin. 
Here are the parts of sewing machines in the bed or under the bed. The lower parts of the lock stitch sewing machine. The lower parts of the lock stitch sewing machines are the cabinet and the stand. The cabinet has drawers and screw on the hinges for the attachment of the head. The following are the lower parts of the sewing machine and their uses. First is the band wheel. It leads the balance wheel through the belt connection. The band wheel crank. It moves the band wheel. The pitman rod. It holds the treadle to band wheel crank. Belt guide. It holds the belt to its place. Belt shifter. It removes the belt from the wheel. Dress guard. It protects the dress from the wheel. Number 7. Treadle. It is where the feet are stationed to drive the band wheel through the pitman rod. Number 8. Legs. It support the cabinet of the machine. Number 9. Cabinet. It holds the head of the machine by interlocking screw on the hinges. 10. Drawers are used for storing sewing accessories and tools such as pins, needles, threads, scissors, and tape measures. Number 11, extension lift. It is used to enlarge the bed plate of the sewing machine and to give support to the left hand of the operator. The lower parts of the lock stitch sewing machine. A time to remember. This is Mylene Huliganga. Thank you for watching.